Hello friends, welcome here or welcome back to another video. Today I am painting with watercolours and I'd like to share the process with you as well as the wisdom that I believe watercolour painting can teach us about embracing the unknown and letting go of control. Watercolour paint is an ancient form of painting created from pigments suspended in a water-soluble solution which is activated by the application of water. The paint has a translucent quality which can be manipulated by adding more or less water or layered to create depth and shading. Including the element of water also means it possesses a rather lively disposition. To me it has a sense of unruliness and to enjoy the process of painting with it you must relinquish a certain element of control. If you are used to the obedience of pencils and pens or even the stubborn nature of acrylic paints, the playfulness of watercolour paint may feel infuriating, but I feel great kinship with this medium and believe it can teach us much about letting go of control and embracing the unknown, and that is what I would like to talk about today. In this video, I am going to be painting starlings. This bird is one of the most common birds here in the UK, and yet every time I see one, I am overwhelmed by how stunning they are. Each one is special, beautiful, and unique, despite their commonality, and I think that is such a wonderful reminder for us too. You two are special, wonderful, and unique. At the time of filming this, we have just entered February and in my mind are still getting to grips with the new year. January is the month I use to reflect and challenge myself, whereas February tends to be when I am ready to begin actioning changes, habits and taking steps out into new territory. It's daunting and exciting and I have to work hard to let go and trust the process. Trusting the process is a phrase I hear often and one that I wholeheartedly believe in. It takes time to see progress and to see things come together. To wait and persevere is often incredibly difficult, but patience is also a critical aspect of watercolouring. Between waiting for your page or layers to dry so you can continue to work, to learning and using new techniques, and when to trust your instincts and go against them. This is a process that takes time and requires you to take a step back, often. Both when painting and also in day-to-day -day life. So frequently we get caught up in our ideas and thoughts, our worries and our plans, that the details become our focus. The time we need to wake up, the exercise routine we want to do, the food we need to eat, the money we need to save, that we forget the big picture. We forget the way we want to make other people feel, the people we love and love us in return, the time we spend with nature or family, the music that makes us feel alive, the trees that wave hello, the difference that we want to make in the world. By stepping back and stepping away from the immediate focus, we can see what needs to be done with clarity and with distance. By embracing the fluidity of life, you open up a partnership of sorts. To control everything is fine and certainly an understandable inclination, but it is very safe and means that when things don't align with this carefully constructed life, that it feels overwhelming and scary, perhaps even devastating to your plans. Here, I had to take a break while I waited for this area to dry. This was needed to continue successful layering, but in doing so, I also noticed elements of what I had or hadn't painted and could gain an understanding of my next steps. It was also the perfect excuse for a fresh cup of tea. 
stepping back also releases stress. If I lose sight of what I want or need, I overthink, overcompensate and focus on the wrong aspects of a problem. And I do the same with painting, adding more and more layers, overworking an area until the whole thing becomes muddy and chaotic. More times than not, it requires a moment to step away, consider a new perspective and come back with fresh eyes. By exercising patience and taking a step back, you begin to see the different roads open to you. You begin to see that mistakes are not always the end of the world. You begin to see that curveballs could be new opportunities, new partnerships and new experiences. Of course, that doesn't mean it still doesn't feel overwhelming or scary anymore, but you are more equipped to see it coming to have a plan and to trust the process that things will work out. I'd like to finish with a poem that perfectly encapsulates all that has been mentioned in today's video, from embracing the unknown to our painted subject matter of the starling bird. This is Starlings in Winter by Mary Oliver. Chunky and noisy, but with stars in their black feathers. They spring from the telephone wire and instantly they are acrobats in the freezing wind. And now, in the theatre of air, they swing over buildings, dipping and rising. They float like one stippled star that opens, becomes for a moment fragmented, then closes again. And you watch and you try but you simply can't imagine how they do it with no articulated instruction no pause only the silent confirmation that they are this notable thing this wheel of many parts that can rise and spin over and over again full of gorgeous life ah world what lessons you prepare for us even in the leafless winter, even in the ashy city. I am thinking now of grief and of getting past it. I feel my boots trying to leave the ground. I feel my heart pumping hard. I want to think again of dangerous and noble things. I want to be light and frolicsome. I want to be improbable beautiful and afraid of nothing, as though I had wings. Thank you so much for spending this time with me here today, friends. I am contemplating creating a small series kind of based around this, looking at the parallels between everyday life and art. I really do find that the two are so entangled for me. So if you would be interested in seeing that, then please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or leaving a comment down below. Again, thank you so much for being here. Take care and I will see you all very soon in another video. Goodbye.